Hey, John Strohmeyer with Strohmeyer Law, where we help our clients leave no unfinished business. Now, today we're going to be answering questions about various taxes. If we don't address this, then what we could do is actually set up a situation where we're leaving more avoidable costs to our loved ones. That's one of the four horsemen of the estate planning apocalypse we really want to address. Can charitable donations help reduce estate tax? Generally, yes. What's going to happen? The estate tax is calculated in a different way from the income tax. It's also the charitable deduction is going to be calculated in a different way than the income tax charitable deduction. Now, the income tax charitable deduction has all of its own rules and calculations. It gets very complicated very quickly to figure out how much tax you're actually saving if you make a charitable donation. But when it comes to estate tax, the amount that you're giving to charity turns into a dollar for dollar reduction in your gross estate. So if you have a $20 million estate, we already know, you know, if you die in 2023 with a full amount of your lifetime exclusion, so $12.92 million available, well, that means about $7.08 million is going to be a exposed to estate tax. So 20 minus that 12.92, 7.08. 40% of that, roughly speaking, is going to be estate tax. So $7 million times 40%, it's going to be $2.75, $2.8 million in estate tax. Now, if you want to reduce the amount of tax you're paying, what you can do is start by getting a deduction for making charitable gifts at your death. So if you have obligations to charities or if assets because you've set up your IRA to transfer over directly to a charity when you pass. Well, those you'll get a dollar for dollar deduction. So if, if that $20 million state had a $5 million charitable bequest, well, $20 million, you're going to get a de deduction of 5 million for the amount going to charity. Then you've got $15 million that's otherwise exposed to a state tax. So 15 minus the 12 point 92 exemption amount that leaves us with 2.08 million dollars exposed to estate tax 40% of that is going to be just under 800,000 or right around $800,000 so there we are we've reduced the bill from 2.8 million to 0.8 million you could go even further to say reduce my estate we're going to leave an amount to charity necessary to completely eliminate tax so what does that mean? Uh, if you had a $20 million estate, we'd be leaving $7.08 million to your charity. Then the 12.92 that's left free of estate tax. You can leave it wherever you want to non-charitable beneficiaries, no estate tax. The thing to think about with this and what we talk about with our clients, if the exemption amount drops as we expect it to in 2026 to $6.8 million, well, surprise, that gift of $7 million and change is going to go up and be about $13 million and some change in 2026. Now, you may not care about this. This may be totally fine for your uh, benefited charities to get $13 million instead of $7 million, but it is something to be aware of and keep in mind as you are planning your estate. But to, again, wrap it all up, Charitable deductions can reduce your estate tax. It's a very powerful way of eliminating estate tax. The key to think about, though, is that money is going to a charity. So make sure you're comfortable with making those charitable gifts. Now, remember, while I am a lawyer, I am not your lawyer. So don't take the advice of some talking head on the internet. Make sure you talk to your own legal counsel about your specific circumstances. We're only dealing with generic advice right now. Also want to mention my firm offers a free five-day estate planning starter kit so you can start the process of planning your own estate with a quick set of daily email challenges that'll help get you in the right frame of mind to identify the questions you really need to be answering. You'll be spending about five to 10 minutes every day for five days answering these questions and putting you on the road to leaving no unfinished business. The link to start this five-day challenge is in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. If you've got other questions about this, go ahead and leave a question in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.